Okay, independent client, uh, customer Gerald through Burl Bird Construction. Uh, this is a new construction, as you see, so there's no EPA rem remodeling or RRP lead. Uh, we'll not be testing any lead-based paints today. Take a look right here uh, on the left-hand side. This is the back wall of the stove area. So if you take a look here, there is an overall of 149 inches from the left to the right, 149. Uh, the uh, duct the exhaust duct here is 64 and a half inches from the right hand side there are two outlets on the wall one is at 11 inches one is at 42 inches from the right hand side there is another two outlets over here they are at 16 inches and 48 inches from the left side your 220 volt plug that's on the floor here uh, is at 75 inches from the left hand side to the center is 75 inches. Left hand wall on this one is 36 inches. The connecting wall between the two and the angle is 43 and one quarter. Uh, the right hand wall on this one is 32 inches. So this is uh, 28 and a half inches. I'm sorry, that's all 28 and a half inches. So this is the stove wall. Take a look over here. This is the refrigerator wall. Refrigerator wall has an overall length of 104 and a quarter, corner to corner, 104 and a quarter. 33 inches on the left return wall, 30 inches on the right return wall. The center of the water box from the right hand side is 17 inches. There are two outlets here above the counters. Those outlets are at 18 and 49 inches from the left. 18 to that one, 49 inches to this one. And of course the fridge is right below it. So here you've got some water lines that are in the walls. Uh, if you take a look where this outlet is, there are two studs beside of it. Then there is a water line. They have nail shields, but there is a water line right there in the wall. So make sure that you don't catch that as a uh, stud. To the right of that, there is two. Um, take a look here now on the, um, built-ins now on the built-ins all the wiring has been put down low uh, customer was asking to put some cabinets in here reducing the depth of the cabinets to 21 inches is what we're going to recommend uh, this is 25 inches to the side of that box so 24 inches is still not going to touch the outlet cover but it's still really really close so making these cabinets reduce depth or ordering them as vanity base cabinets as 21 is a much better deal there. These outlets though are low and if they were up higher like these right here, uh, they would actually be in the cabinet line. Uh, that one right there is 15 inches to the right hand side. The return is 28 inches here on the right. On the left hand side, it's 30 inches to the door trim or window trim. Then you got your fireplace area. Here to the right of the fireplace area, it's the same width as the other one. Uh, the width is 62 inches here, 62 wide. That one over there is 62 inches wide as well. 28 inches deep here, 34 inches deep here on the right, so plenty of room. But again, all of your electrical is down low, uh, as well as here it's a switched down low, switched outlet. Um, so I'm not sure exactly what that switched outlet's for. These are data as well as um, uh, just like your regular, I guess your plugins for your, your peripherals. Uh, but if they're gonna be inside the cabinet, that's no problem. This first one here is 14 inches to the left wall. That's 24 inches to the corner. This one on the right is 12 inches to the right. So uh, pretty much two uh, 30 inch bases, they'll fit both, both of those, no problem. All right, take a look here in the, I guess, I'm guessing this is the master bath area. <clears throat> so master bath has a step down shower, has a toilet area. This is wall to wall, left to right. Uh, master bath was changed from plan and actually had uh, cabinets to the left and right of those. Uh, this overall in the master bath, double check. Yeah, the overall here in the master bath is 107 and three quarter, all the way across, 107 and three quarter. Uh, it is um, the first here of the of the pl uh, plumbing is 28, 32, and 36. 28, 32, 36 from the left hand side. On the right hand side, the plumbing is 29, 34, 36 to the right hand side of the wall. And again, uh, overall space 
is uh, 107 and three quarter. You'll need filler on the right and left hand side. Okay, here we are in the laundry room area, wall to wall. Uh, left to right is 112 inches, 17. Is that 117? 100 yeah. 112. 112. 112 inches left to right. We'll double check it when I get done here. The center of the plumbing from the left hand side is 15, 20, and 25 to the center of each of those pipes from the left. Um, 48 inches worth of cabinets here with 63 inches worth of washer and dryer. Dryers on the right, washer machines on the left. Okay, here's our half bath. This half bath is plumbed for a uh, pedestal lavatory. Everything's grouped really tight uh, from the left hand side to uh, the side of the plumbing is 12 inches to the center. I'm sorry, center of the plumbing is 13 inches, the center of the drain, and the spread on that's about six inches. Here is the Jack and Jill bathroom. Jack and Jill bathroom goes left to right, alcove. It is, go back to that one. Overall width is 109 and three quarter, left to right. Uh, it is 283236 to the pipes here, 283236. And on the right hand side, 29, 34, 36 to the center of the pipes there. Okay, last thing is the placement of the pipes for the island. You can see here they're grouped. They are actually horizontal to the um, stove wall in parallel to the stove wall. Uh, so they, from the stove wall, they are 101 inches. From that wall to the center of the pipes, 101. From the refrigerator wall, this wall to the center of the pipes is 138, 138 inches. Um, that is everything for this one. Um, the only thing I've seen was the electrical down low that may be on purpose. Uh, but if you have any questions about anything, feel free to give me a call at 423-650-1051. Have a great day.